what's up? When I saw this guy starting to trend, and when I saw the media pushing this fella very heavily, I said to myself, I've seen this sort of stuff before in America. I've seen how the media play and how the playbook is used in their favour. When they want to push a certain narrative and they wanted to go into overdrive. And that is something that they use to their advantage on Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And I saw this guy getting pushed really heavily. Now I want to just be clear from the outset when I say this. Fair play to everybody and anyone who intervened in this situation that happened in Dublin on Thursday when children were attacked. I want to just say that and I want to be very clear about that. But there's something very strange about this situation and it needs to be highlighted. When you were seeing these types of articles and interviews being done by this man and then what I'm going to show you, it should make you, as it did me, scratch my head and go, why would they do that? What's the purpose of that? And I'm going to get into that throughout this video. So here you can see an article from seven hours ago. Delivery driver who intervened in Dublin attack offers support to injured girl. Dublin hero Ciao Benicio vows to help family of gravely injured child in any way I can from four hours ago. Ciao Benicio offers to support family of little girls still in hospital as fundraiser reaches €365,000. Now that isn't the only article that's been done on this guy. There's multiples but there is one there from 53 minutes ago, 4 hours ago and 7 hours ago today. So this is the 28th of the 11th 2023. Now what has transpired since then is this woman has come out and has said in the meantime that her husband was forced on the scene, forced individual to stop the attacker. Now I said it over here. And I think that this comment rings true because you're going to see it in a moment. So Stacey Power Dunahoe or Dunahue, I don't know which way they pronounce that. But she says, I'm sick of seeing stories about the hero. My husband was the first person there. He struggled and got the knife off the man. The on the bike grabbed the knife and ran across the road with it. My poor kids are traumatized as is Warren. So Warren is apparently the first person that stepped in. Below is Warren's jumper from the struggle, getting the man away from the child and the knife. So as you can see here, that's a pretty serious move that's been happening there towards Warren. So what was the result in this? Did the regime and the apparatus promote this man? No, it's not what they've done. Here's what they've done. She then said in an update, as being advised by the guards today, I or Warren will not be commenting any further on the incident as it can affect the cases going forward. But they're doing puff pieces about Chow Benicio there today. They're pushing him really hard. So as I said over here, the apparatus told the Irish to shut the fuck up so they could promote foreigners. And that's how it looks. Now... Since then, there's been another individual that's come out and this guy looks like something from Kajagoogoo. It's absolutely unbelievable how they're pulling people out of woodwork now. And what is the apparatus's plan? Well, to me, it seems, and what I've seen in America, and it seems to be applied here now also, is the narrative to go forward of uh, one foreigner bad, but three foreigner good. So three to one, it's all good guys, open borders, unvetted, illegal immigrants, absolutely fine guys, let's not worry about that. But here's the thing, and here's, if this is indeed the truth, now I've seen the video, one of the videos that have come out there of Warren, and he looks very brave, and it looks like to me from that video that he is the first person in. Again, that's my opinion, I don't know whether that is fact, I am open to correction. But it wouldn't surprise me, because what is it that this media do? What is it that this government do? What is it that these NGOs do? They are actively trying to call you far right for being a patriot, for loving your country. They show nothing but disgust and a total lack of wanting to engage with you. But this is a very harrowing thing to happen. That the Gardaí have been sent to tell these people not to say anything, to zip it. The case is going to be pending. But hang on, how come the foreign fella from Brazil is doing loads of interviews and is doing lots of talking points and getting involved in politics because he's been invited to Leo Varadkar's gaff or somewhere to do with Leo Varadkar and having dinner on Leo. Very weird that isn't it? Isn't that strange? When I smell something like this I say oh, hang on the spider sense is tingling here lads. 
I pray Leanne and them beautiful babies get all the justice they deserve. May they recover and get home to their families. Hug your babies tight. Never take any second for granted. I won't be responding to the comments. I'll be off social media trying to help my babies get their little minds around it all. Stay safe. So I don't know about you, but the message that I'm certainly getting from this is shut up, Paddy. Don't be bringing any attention to this, Paddy. We want to be promoting our guy and saying nothing. Why are these people, and this is the point that I'm making, why are these people that all intervened, why are they not collectively all together being hero worshipped or indeed, if you don't even want to say hero worshipped, congratulated, been publicly put out there? Why is that? Why is a woman that has intervened in the situation that happened and the attack on kids last Thursday, why is one of the things that she says in the interview that her and an American lady formed a ring around the attacker? That's a weird thing to say. It's a very strange thing to say. Because let me tell you something, and I think most logical people and men with testosterone would say the same thing. They'd say, you did what? A fella's out there attacking kids and you did what? Doesn't make sense. Makes no sense at all. And when you can't make sense of these situations, you know something's afoot and something's going on. Because I have to be honest with you, when I saw these two statements, the fourth statement, I was really shocked and I was like, wow, that's absolutely unbelievable. But it doesn't surprise me to see the media try to step over someone and try and promote somebody else. But this one was it for me, guys. I mean, very weird. What's the story with that? Why is Warren not being given his dues? Why is he not being promoted? Why is he not being talked about? Almost seemed like a narrative is being driven there, wouldn't it? I don't know about you guys, but certainly when I see what's been going on for the last few years, it doesn't shock me anymore. So, this is what's happening. You also have Conor McGregor being investigated for tweets there. There's nobody investigating who's letting people in over the border illegally. Nobody investigating who's doing that. No interest in arresting the government who are as culpable for the attack as anybody else. No interest in investigating the media who have been pushing this ideology of far-rightism, trying to put hate upon people that are pointing out what's going on and seeing the alarms for these things that happened and will happen and will continue to happen because we have a left-wing government and establishment and apparatus. This is the country that we currently live in. It's top-tier clown world. And this doesn't surprise me whatsoever. I think it's shameful. Absolutely shameful. And shame on the individuals that went to these people's house and said to them, yeah, stop talking about that. Could affect the case. Codswallop, especially when you have article upon article been published about another fella. Shocking stuff anyway. Let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell up above for future uploads. And I'll talk to you later.